Hey, heroes. This is Stan Lee. I hope you haven't forgotten me. You better not have forgotten me. We've been together for so many generations. I don't want that to stop. I don't consider you as fans. I consider you as close, close friends. I'd like to feel that you consider me the same way. So let's think of it that we have that relationship. You're my friend, I'm your friend. And we're not gonna let anything come between that, that arrangement. And um, that's really all I want to say. Stan Lee, the publisher of Marvel Comics, has probably been in the comic book business longer than anybody on Earth. He claims that Guinness is going to put him in the book of records, but that's not really true, is it? Well, they very well might. You know, as I had mentioned earlier, I think that I've probably written more stories that have been published than anybody who's ever lived. Uh, not necessarily better stories, but certainly more stories. A hundred years from now, if somebody should bring up my name, if, <laughs> if it would still be around, in a hundred years, it would be nice if people say, geez, I, I thought he was a good writer. His stories gave me a lot of pleasure. That's what people tell me now, and it's the best thing any writer can ever hear when somebody comes over and says, I've, I've derived pleasure from what you've written. This is Stan Lee coming at you. Want you to know, Marvel has always been and always will be a reflection of the world right outside our window. That world may change and evolve, but the one thing that will never change is the way we tell our stories of heroism. Holy smoke, I go out of town for a few days, and when I get back, I find out that Thanos has destroyed everything, all my characters. That's the last time I ever take a discount vacation. Well, unfortunately, it means a lot of new work for me. Don't worry, before you know it, I'll have our friends up and at them, and if I were Thanos, I'd start getting out of town. Excelsior. It isn't a one-man field. It is so many people contribute. I'm just happy that I've had a hand in all of this, and uh, I I'm happy that even after all these years, someone bothers to interview me about it. I'm really very uh, flattered. I thought he'd be taller. <laughs> Did it work? It just seems like there's a lot they're not telling us. Superheroes in New York can be great. Sure. <laughs> Simple. Any questions? Yeah. Can I have my shoe back? Oh, man. I am so fired. Look at Mr. Smiles over here. You like Where's your wife, old man? What a class A prefer. <laughs> this was aged for a thousand years. The barrels built from the wreck of Grunhill's fleet is not meant for mortal men. Neither was Omaha Beach, Blondie. Stop trying to scare us. Come on. All right. Egg Shell Shield.
crazy fine writer chick at the spot last night. Like, fine, fine, like, crazy stupid fine. And he goes up to the bartender and goes, look at the girl I'm with. You know what I'm saying? She's crazy stupid fine, right? And the bartenders are all like, yeah, crazy stupid fine. Are you Tony Stank? Yes, this is, this is Tony Stank. That is hilarious. Before I was so rudely interrupted, at that time, I was a Federal Express man. Hey, fellas. Hey, wait, where are you going? Hey, you were supposed to be my lift home. How will I get out of here? Hey, oh, gee, I've got so many more stories to tell. Oh, guys. Oh, gee. Shut that up! I was just trying to... My mom! Hey, Gary, how you doing?